Hi, my name is Agata. Welcome in Agata's Cottage. It's Friday, so it's time for Friday Sows. Hashtag Friday Sows was started by Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room. Under hashtag Friday Sows, you will find a lot of lovely vlogs from various people posting about their makes, their plants, a bit about their life. I love watching Friday shows, they are my favorite, like long distance tea or coffee with a friend. I have a lot to share with you today, so I will get on with everything I want to tell you today. First, it's question of the week. So Jen asked us, what was our easiest make? And to be honest, I'm not sure, I don't remember which make I would consider the easiest. I think it was either a curtain or a pillowcase or maybe gathered skirt. There are still makes that are very simple and easy, like an apron that I love making. And if you want to hear about my apron, I made one last week. So I will uh, leave the link somewhere below and I will pop the picture. It's one of my favorite things to wear now, actually, on top of my clothes, of course. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's very simple to make. So if you haven't made an apron and you are looking for something easy to do, I highly recommend it. And in the description below, I will leave the uh, tutorial to uh, one of the easiest aprons I ever made. It's by Alisa from Thoughtful Creativity and you can make it in multiple sizes. It's up to you. I have a lot of makes today. I have new sewing magazine i have my um pattern haul from mccall's that i bought those patterns two two and a half weeks ago during the mccall sale and they finally arrived and i have my mystery box from specky seamstress and i wanted to share with you because i love it like me it's nothing you should see Alice, she went just like, oh, mommy, <laughs> it was hilarious. Of course, she wanted to have everything made with the things we got from uh, Specky Seamstress. Uh, part of them will be part of her Christmas gift. So I have my little envelope here. So um, when I sign up for the Specky Seamstress subscription box, uh, there was an option that you can add things um, to your parcel within a reason, of course, and have a free shipping. Uh, there was a little glitch with the shipping to Ireland, but ladies sort everything out and I'm very grateful to them because I really wanted something for Alice. But first I will show you the tape that arrived as a part of the mystery box look at that oh i'm putting it the wrong way so isn't that fabulous actually i will take it out of the packaging because i think there might be glare look at this isn't that fabulous it's just so lovely and so soft and if you haven't seen it on the inside it's lovely already done so it's very easy to use and um, i'm planning to use it to finish a few things for myself because you know who else will appreciate bias tape with the sewing machines chris definitely won't although he does love this purple and uh, with that we got this lovely patch it says a certified member of the Bias Tape Appreciation Society. So that's how the subscription box is called. And I just love it. I think I will add it to one of the jackets I will be making soon. What I bought with my uh, box as an additional item was this gorgeous Bias Tape with kitties. Like, you know, we love cats in this house. So that was no surprise. Uh, Alice, of course, wants to have those kitties on every single uh, make I will make for her now as a neck band or something. And because I uh, 
mentioned to the ladies that there is a problem with the code and I helped them sort out the glitch uh, on the website but just noticing it uh, they kindly uh, gifted me this lovely patch with the kitties and there is a that there's another one on the back so uh, this one with the kitties will be uh, in gift I will be making for Alice for Christmas so I will be making her a bag for uh, Kindle so she can have a like crossbody bag where she can fit in her Kindle because all her bags are either very tiny or very big um, so I will put that patch in and I think it will look fabulous and I got little tiny thank you note and uh, everything arrived very smoothly very quickly uh, I did have to pay the customs because you know the Speckishim stress is located in uh, UK however it wasn't a big charge and it was definitely worth it so I have a subscription going uh, and I cannot wait to see the December bias tape what I'm wearing is self-drafted jumper I made this jumper last year fabric is from beyond the pink door it's jacquard knit with this lovely animal print it's so cozy and soft and I wore it so often that you, you can slowly see the wear on it because it's one of my favorite makes in my wardrobe so over the next few days I'm planning to actually make myself a new one I haven't decided which fabric yet I have two things in my stash that would be suitable but about that next week when I will make it time for the pattern haul a few weeks ago there was a sale for McCall's pattern and one of Irish shops uh, so Irish had those patterns at 50% sale uh, you had to wait for them a little bit longer but it was worth it so I got a few patterns and surprisingly all for me except for one but even the things that are in the other pattern they are things for me in general so I got this pattern so it's M0 sorry M8045 it's trousers pattern it's just lovely I love high-waisted trousers it goes uh, up to 37 inch waist my waist is slightly bigger than that but I will do a full time adjustment anyway so um, and it goes up to hips 46 so my hips are 42 so I will need to do a bit of adjusting but I just love this pattern and they have this kind of vintage vibe and I adore it now next one is uh, M7974 this one goes up to bust 44 waist 37 hip 46 and so that's up to size uh, US 22 and I just love view B there is a lot of buttons there but it's just fabulous dress so I won't be making this anytime soon it's something that I'm considering for spring or for summer you know in Ireland summers you might need to wear something with a long sleeve so um, yeah so that's the pattern that is not for me really it's M6051 and it has so many various things that I just couldn't resist and um, I love the organizer and that's on my list to do and I want to make the peg holder as well because you know it's time to gather the pegs from the outside and store them nicely so I think that would be a nice project and um, there is a lot of different things like a drawstring bag like a apron so uh, it's a very versatile pattern and I will get on with it soon enough now next one is M8343 and it has four different views so it's like a pullover with either zipper or a shawl uh, type of um, shawl type of collar or you can have a hoodie so what I'm planning to do is version C so this one and I think I will be making it quite soon although the version C I want to do with the 
drawstring like in version A. So I'm not sure if you can see here. So version A has little drawstrings on the bottom instead of the band. Uh, and I think that's very nice feature. So we will see. It's on my to-do list for soon. That. The pattern that actually started it all. Um, I went to look for something that I could use with the four, uh, faux fur I got from Ecobi. And I wanted something like, you know, kind of classic style jacket. I went through all my magazines, but I didn't have anything that would be suitable. And then I saw this. So I actually like the version B, which is like a high hip uh, length and uh, it's just fabulous. <laughs> It is fabulous and it goes to hips 46 past 42 and I cannot wait to make it and I have all the fabrics I need in my stash isn't that great so um, that would be something I would be making not next week but probably following all depends how life goes next one is the suit pattern uh, so is just uh, either cropped trousers or full length trousers and either cropped jacket or longer jacket it gives me 80s vibe or early 90s and i just love it actually i used to wear a suit like that long time ago when i was in my early 20s and the last one is a m389 and it's a skirt pattern I actually love all three views of this skirt. I'm really into buying skirt patterns recently. I haven't made any in ages, but I just love buying skirt patterns. So the first one I want to make actually is the view uh, B, so the short one, uh, and I want to make it in denim. The last thing that, actually no, I got one more pattern. Yes, one more. Uh, I recently bought the winter wear design uh, blazer it has fabulous feature on the back where it's like a crossover back and it has puffy sleeve uh, princess seams and it's made for stable knits if i remember correctly and i just couldn't resist it was on a sale for two euro so how could i say no no the last thing that I bought is the October magazine. Uh, it had some troubles getting in, uh, uh, getting to Ireland, but it arrived finally. But look at how many lovely patterns there are in this magazine. So um, I'm planning to do first this dress. So it's like a jumper dress and I will show you the actual view. It's relaxed fit and it's a very kind of uh, sporty type vibe and reminds me cuddle tunic but is uh, more relaxed uh, than the cuddle tunic so I think I will make it first. It's, in general it's fabulous magazine. I had great fun looking through all the things I want to make and planning all the things I want to do like for example let me find it for you it's um they have this 60s style this outfit isn't that gorgeous like it's just fabulous so um i don't have any fabric that would be suitable for that except for something that's already planned for something else but i'm sure with time i will find something that will be suitable i actually think it would look lovely in denim or track denim we'll see now time for my makes and i do have a lot of things i made over last week i went kind of on small bits sewing spree so i will show you first thing that i'm the most happy about pattern weights so little tiny pattern weights I've been using uh, stones that Alice and I collected over the years, but they aren't heavy enough for some spaces, uh, for some situations. And uh, I will have to 
put the stones, then pin the pattern, then cut, and it was just taking ages. So I looked what other people are using and heavy duty washers were coming up over and over and over again. So I did got heavy duty washers uh, over on Amazon and they were sliding off the pattern pieces, like especially when they were traced pattern pieces. It was driving me insane. So I thought, okay, I need to do something so they are not slippery. So I thought for a minute, hmm, maybe I can just add the bottom in the felt or something. Felt was uh, slipping through as well. So then I thought, hmm, what about the uh, fabric that's used for the bottom of the socks, like or slippers or something like that? I knew I had a bit of that fabric because I bought it from Ecobee last year, but I can't find it. Like I know it's I know it's somewhere in my sewing space, but I just can't find it. And then I had the thought, hmm, but I bought the paint for doing the dots on the socks. Maybe I can use the paint. So of course, you know, if I would do the paint just on the washers, it would be ugly. And anyway, it was coming off quite quickly because the washers are quite slippery on their own. So I traced one set of washers. I actually glue two washers together with the hot glue. So I traced one of the washers and I added seam allowance and I tried to do like a cover type of thing in the woven fabric but it was just awkward. So I decided I can do it in the French terry. Um, I have so many off cuts and small random pieces of French terry that it was just, you know, suitable. And I added a little bit of ribbon so it's easier to move around if I need to. So as I mentioned, I just trace around, added seam allowance and just left the so on the outside, left a tiny bit squeezed the set of washers inside, stitched, hand stitch on the top and uh, added ribbon in, the, in between and then I put the um, paint, the like a sock paint on the bottom and they don't move. Like I put them on the pattern pieces and they stay. I put them on the fabric and they stay. <laughs> it's fabulous. So I made a good few of those. Uh, if you are interested in tutorial how I did it, let me know. Uh, I can whip something out. Um, but as I said, they are, they are brilliant. I'm having great fun with them. Now I actually need to make a container to keep them all in because for now they keep moving from one spot to another. Uh, and you know, I don't want to lose any of them. Next things I made are zipper pouches. So um, I made this zipper pouch um, yesterday. I finished it today. I just had to finish the bias tape on the bottom. It's fully lined. So what I did, I had this gorgeous embroidered satin fabric and I had just small piece. I will actually show you the size of the piece. Okay, it was a piece like that. If you watched my uh, previous Friday shows, you know that I used the uh, like a sample from the upholstery shop uh, for doing the apron, and basically the fabrics, those fabrics, are the remnants, same type of samples. They are just smaller sizes. And they wouldn't be suitable for apron anyway. So um, I thought that, you know, on its own, it's very lightweight and I wanted something more stable. So I added uh, one layer of very thin uh, batting. I quilted them together and then I cut out my pattern piece. Uh, I don't remember where I got the patterns uh, because I had them cut out for a few years but I found similar uh, type of, uh, they're called like taco pouches uh, by uh, Rayleigh Blake Design and there is a full tutorial on YouTube and they are very easy to make. So uh, I made this one and I lined it in the 
uh, fat water from Aldi and I put I interfaced the um, inside of the lining I just wanted to make sure it's stable enough so this one is actually for me because I just love it and in fairness I haven't done many things for myself recently so and I made it smaller one that's a tiny one for Alice uh, this one I made using the faux fur not faux fur faux leather yes faux leather and I just line it with the remnants of the fat quarter from Aldi and this one would be part of Alice's gift uh, I got this faux leather at Ecobee and she needs a little something to hold her inhaler and you know a chapstick uh, so you know that would be handy and it's just super cute the next thing i made is the um, mug rack so i will have tutorial for a mug rack soon it's just very simple um, and if you want a bit more details i have uh, i included this mug rack in my a gift to november uh, video and i will leave the link to that video below it was published on monday and for the same video i also made this so it's a cozy pouch by incomplete stitches um i just love it i use it for my makeup so actually i haven't put any makeup yet i just tested it will it fit all in so it does so i'm very excited about this and it will be sitting in my bathroom uh, it's Chris would be laughing that our bathroom is getting more girly and girly every day but I just love it I love this uh, faux leather uh, it's just fabulous and I think they go well together so I will leave link to the pattern below uh, those pouches come in various sizes and you can do them quilted with various um, color blocking options they are just great and very easy to follow so the last things that I made are pencil cases. So those pencil cases, they are elastic pencil cases with like the elastic on the back and they go over the notebook or a book or whatever, like a cross crossword puzzle. Uh, I have full tutorial uh, on my channel. I will leave, leave the link down below. I was laughing yesterday that tutorial is over 20 minutes but you can whip out one of those pencil cases in less than 15. I don't have any major sewing plans I want to work on some tutorials and do one or two uh, jumpers for me hopefully uh, but that's it and um, you know I'm sewing slowly a uh, gift for a gift to November uh, sewing challenge so you know that takes some time plus you know it's start time to start cleaning the house for the christmas and the clutter and the do stuff and we have very eventful week with no internet no water and just all the things that happen in between you know how it is just life thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoy this video i appreciate you spend your time with me i hope you will have a lovely wonderful weekend full of sewing if that's your plans don't forget, clean your sewing machine and change your needle. Happy sewing. Bye.